Hi, this is Julieta Young Orfiano. Welcome to my video. If this is your first time on my channel, please like, share, and subscribe so I can notify you when I have a new video. In this video, I am going to discuss about investment property, other non-current financial assets, and assets held for sale. The topic that I am going to discuss are the following. First, investment property. Second, initial recognition. Third, measurement after initial recognition. Fourth, transfers to and from other classification. Fifth, presentation on the statement of financial position. And number six, the recognition. Investment, property, other non-current financial assets, and assets held for sale. Part 1. Investment property. As defined by IAS or PAS number 40, an investment property is land or building or both held by the owner or by the lessee under a finance lease to earn rentals or for capital appreciation, or both, rather than for use in the production or supply of goods or services, or for administrative purposes or sale in the ordinary course of business. Based on the foregoing definition, an investment property is purchased either to earn rentals and or for capital appreciation. A piece of land or a building that is used in the production or supply of goods or services is classified under property, plant, and equipment. Whereas property held for sale in the ordinary course of business is classified as inventory. The following are examples of investment property. Paragraph number 8, IAS number 40. A. Land held for long-term capital appreciation rather than for short-term sale in the ordinary course of business. Letter B, land held for a currently undetermined future use. It is presumed to be held for capital appreciation. Letter C, a building owned by the entity or held by the entity under a finance lease and lease out under one or more operating leases. Letter D, a building that is vacant but is held to be leased out under one or more operating leases. A property that is being developed or constructed for future use as investment property shall be classified as property, plant, and equipment until its completion, at which time it shall be reclassified as investment property. A property comprising a portion that is held to earn rentals or for capital appreciation and another portion that is held for use in operations is to be accounted for as investment property for the portion held for rentals or capital appreciation and as property, plant, and equipment for the portion that is held for use in operations. If the property could not be apportioned and only an insignificant portion is used in operations for production of goods or services or for administrative purposes, the property is an investment property. Entities finding difficulty to determine whether a property qualifies as investment property shall set criteria which property qualify as investment property and apply such criteria consistently. IAS number 40 requires these entities to disclose these criteria when classification is difficult. The following are not investment property 
based on paragraph number 9, IAS number 40. A. Property intended for sale in the ordinary course of business or in the process of construction or development for such sale. For example, property acquired exclusively with a view to subsequent disposal in the near future or for development and resale. Letter B. Property being constructed or developed on behalf of third parties. Letter C. Owned occupied property including property held for future use as owner occupied property, property held for future development and subsequent use as owner occupied property, property occupied by employees, and owner occupied property awaiting disposal. Letter D. Property that is being constructed or developed for future use as investment property. The property is classified as property, plant, and equipment until its completion at which time it is transferred to investment property. However, existing investment property that is being redeveloped for continued future use as investment property remains as investment property. And letter E, property that is being leased to another entity under a finance lease. Initial recognition. Investment property shall be recognized as an asset when and only when paragraph number 20, IAS number 40. Letter A, it is probable that the future economic benefits that are associated with the investment property will flow to the entity. And letter B, the cost of an investment property can be measured reliably. Investment property shall be measured initially at its cost. Transaction costs such as professional fees for legal services and property transfer taxes assumed by the buyer and are directly attributable to the acquisition form part of the cost of investment property. An investment property may be acquired A. By cash purchase Letter B. On a deferred payment plan Letter C. In exchange for a non-monetary asset Letter D by issuing the company's own equity securities or letter E under a lease classified under finance lease. Acquisition of investment property under the modes A to E are accounted for following the same rules applied to acquisition of property, plant, and equipment. The initial cost of a property Interest held under a finance lease shall be the lower of the property's fair value and the present value of the minimum lease payments. Measurement after initial recognition. On the statement of financial position, an entity based on its accounting policy shall choose to measure all of its investment property using either the cost model or the fair value model. Under the cost model, an investment property is measured at cost less accumulated depreciation and accumulated impairment losses. Under fair value model, an entity shall measure all of its investment property at fair value. A gain or loss arising from a change in fair value shall be recognized in profit or loss for the period in which it arises. To illustrate, assume a company acquired a tract of land for capital appreciation at a cost of 4 million pesos early in 2008. At December 31, 2008, 
on the basis of an independent appraisal made, the asset is determined to have a fair value of 4 million 600,000 pesos. At December 31st, 2008, the enterprise using the fair value model shall prepare the following entry. Debit investment property, land for capital appreciation, 600,000 pesos. Credit, fair value gain on investment property, 600,000 pesos. In determining the fair value of investment property, transaction costs that may be incurred on sale or other disposal costs are not deducted. In addition, the fair value of investment property at the enterprise's reporting date shall reflect market conditions at the statement of financial position date. When an entity chooses to classify a property interest held by a leasee under an operating lease as an investment property, all investment property held by the entity shall be measured using the fair value model. The best evidence of fair value is given by current prices in an active market for similar property in the same location and condition. In the absence of current prices in an active market, an entity considers information from a variety of sources including PAR number 46, PAS or IAS number 40, letter A. Current prices in an active market for properties of different nature, condition or location adjusted to reflect those differences. Letter B, recent prices of similar properties on less active markets with adjustments to reflect any changes in economic conditions since the date of the transactions that occurred at those prices. And letter C, discounted cash flow projections based on reliable estimates of future cash flows supported by the terms of any existing lease and other contracts and by external evidence such as current market rents for similar properties in the same location and condition and using discount rates that reflect current market assessments of the uncertainty in the amount and timing of the cash flows. In rare cases when an entity uses the fair value model and the fair value of a specific investment property cannot be reliably determined on a continuing basis, the entity shall measure that investment property using the cost model. The entity shall continue to measure the remaining investment properties using the fair value model. If an entity has previously measured an investment property at fair value, it shall continue to measure the property at fair value until disposal or until the property is transferred to another classification because of change in use or intention. Transfer to and from other classifications. Transfer to or from investment property shall be made when and only when there is a change in use evidence by IAS number 40, letter A. Commencement of owner occupation for a transfer from investment property to owner occupied property. Letter B. Commencement of development with a view to sale for a transfer from investment property to inventories. Letter C. End of owner occupation for a transfer from owner-occupied property to investment property. Letter D, commencement of an operating lease to another party for a transfer from inventories to investment property. Or le letter E, end of construction or development for a transfer from property in the course of construction or development to investment property. When the entity uses the cost model, 
to measure its investment properties, transfer between investment property, owner-occupied property, under property plants and equipment, and inventories do not change the carrying amount of the property transferred and they do not change the cost of that property for measurement or disclosure purposes. So that's under cost model when a building previously classifies an investment property is transferred to property, plant, and equipment classification because the building will be used in production or supply of goods or services or for administrative purposes, the entry is debit building, accumulated depreciation, building held, debit as investment property, credit building held as investment property, and credit accumulated depreciation building. When land held as investment property is reclassified as inventory because the enterprise commences development with a view to a sale in the ordinary course of business, the entry is debit inventory and credit land held as investment property. When a building previously being constructed is completed with a view that it would be leased out under operating leases, the entry is debit building held as investment property and credit building in progress. When the enterprise commences operating leases to other parties for a property that is previously held in inventories, the entry is debit building held as investment property and credit inventories. When reclassification is made for investment properties, that are carried at fair value, the transfer in the new classification is also made at fair value. Thus, when investment property carried at fair value is reclassified as inventory, the entry is debit inventory and credit investment property. It is to be understood that the property is to be adjusted first to its fair value at the date of reclassification, we change in fair value taken to profit or loss. When reclassification is made from owner-occupied property to investment property that will be carried at fair value, for example, land previously classified as property, plant, and equipment is reclassified as investment property, the following shows the appropriate entry. When fair value exceeds previous carrying value, debit land held as investment property, credit land, and credit revaluation surplus. When fair value is less than previous carrying amount, debit land held as investment property, debit revaluation surplus, equity, revaluation loss, profit, and loss, credit land. Any excess of the previous carrying amount over the fair value at the date of transfer is charged to revaluation surplus any further excess is charged to a loss taken to profit or loss when an inventory item of land or building is reclassified as investment property debit land or building held as investment property credit inventory Credit fair value gain on transfer of inventory to investment property to profit or loss. When a building previously undergoing construction and development is completed and is to be held as investment property, the entry is debit building held as investment property, credit building in progress, and credit fair value gain on investment property. To summarize, a change in classification from and into investment property carried using the cost model is recorded at its carrying amount with no gain or loss recorded at the date of reclassification. The previous carrying amount of the asset in its previous classification shall be its initial measurement basis in its new classification.
a change in classification from and into investment property carried using the fair value model shall be measured at fair value with the difference between the fair value at the date of reclassification and the previous carrying amount taken to profit or loss except for a classification from owner occupied property to investment property in the latter case any difference is accounted for as revaluation of property following the revaluation model used for property plant and equipment presentation and a statement of financial position as required by pass or ias number one investment property shall be separately shown as a line item on the face of the statement of financial position in a properly classified statement of financial position investment property is classified as a non-current asset their recognition an investment property shall be the recognized eliminated from the statement of financial position on disposal or when the investment property is permanently withdrawn from use and no future economic benefits are expected from its disposal paragraph number 66 at the date of disposal the difference between the net disposal proceeds and the carrying amount of the investment property shall be recognized as a gain or loss reported on the statement of comprehensive income thank you for watching my video i hope you learned something from this video i did part two and continuation of this video wherein i discuss in part two about investment property other non-current assets and assets held for sale the topics that i discuss in part two are the following first funds for future use second cash surrender value of life insurance policy and third long-term advances and deposits just click above or the link below this video to watch part two don't forget to like share and subscribe on my channel so i can notify you if i have a new video once again this is julieta young orfiano see you on my next video